here you are, a young, good-looking, handsome Colombian in Arkansas, doesn't speak any English. How was that, man? Like, was it, was yeah. it racism? Would you get in trouble? Um, no, thanks, thanks God. Like, um, everyone was pretty supportive. You know, I, I understood English. Um, I was, I, I went to a really good school in Colombia, so I, I had English classes like all my life. So I understood and I spoke a little bit. Uh, but then you think you speak English in Colombia, and then you move here, and then you realize that you don't fully speak. You know, so. Um, but it was challenging, man. I, I don't get a lot of people asking me for that side of my story, but I think it's um, it's what created the foundation to be the person that I needed to be for the success that I that I was going to have after in, in my life. Um, it was it was really challenging. I, I, it was the first time that I was alone, like fully alone for the first time in Colombia. I had my family, my friends, my life. Um, and I think that was a blessing, man, because I, I realized that I was feeling a lot of emotional holds that I had with other people. Uh, I was utilizing other people to like feel emotional voids that I had. And then uh, for the first time it was by myself. Um, and, and it was emotionally and spiritually really, really challenging. Um, but it made me really, really strong. And uh, the connection that I, that I created with God over the, over those six months was really, really good. So um, yeah, I became way more emotionally strong, spiritually strong, um, and started to trust a little bit more in myself, knowing my purpose in life and knowing what I wanted. So it was a lot of, of finding myself and, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was challenging, but it was definitely a, a blessing.